In introducing Kelly Ayotte, I want to say just a word about the place where she's going to go to fight for us, Washington, D.C. I've decided that's a place where the check engine light is on and everybody keeps driving anyway. Deficit spending, the check engine light comes on. They keep right on driving. Higher taxes, bigger government, the check engine light comes on. They keep right on driving. Judd Gregg has always stood up and fought for you and me. Kelly Ayotte is going to do the same. I want to introduce a woman who was a great attorney general, who is going to be a great United States senator. She is going to go down there and fight for working people in New Hampshire and make a real difference. In all of my years of public life, I know of no one with more integrity, with more character, with more love for the people of New Hampshire, you who she is going to represent. Ladies and gentlemen, the next United States Senator, Kelly Ayotte. I'm running for the United States Senate because I think that we need to go in a different direction. We're mortgaging our children's future. We are spending money that we don't have. and We need to make more responsible decisions for the future of our country. Some of the qualities that I find uh, in Kelly that I remember from the day I met her are exactly some of the reasons I think she'll make a great senator. You know, she's very sincere. Uh, she's very caring. If she tells you she's going to do something, she will come through for you. She means what she says, and you can trust her. I think this is the most important race on the ballot in 2010. And the reason is quite simple. If you're going to turn around Washington, you've got to turn around it with people. I say enough is enough. Washington needs a good dose of New Hampshire common sense. <laughs> Joe and I are like other New Hampshire families. We sit around our kitchen table, we prioritize, and we live within our budget. And our federal government should not be any different than our families here in New Hampshire. I was born in Nashville, New Hampshire, right here, and uh, spent my whole life growing up in New Hampshire. Yeah, I went to public schools in Nashville, the Bicentennial Elementary School, and Nashville High School, my husband did as well. And so then I went away to college and I came right back here to New Hampshire to practice law, became a prosecutor prosecuting murder cases, and then attorney general of our state. She's got a track record that is very visible. Everybody's seen her do the job that she's done as the chief law enforcement for the state of New Hampshire. Over and over again, she's been on the front lines and never found wanting. She's always got the job done. Kelly worked very closely with the state legislature, both the House and the Senate. She came to all of our hearings and spoke very strongly about the Child Predator Act. And because of her, we were able to increase the penalty for people who do these horrible, horrible acts to our children. Kelly is very tough. I've seen it over and over again, but it's a toughness with a sense of fairness. I trust her, and you know, all of us here in New Hampshire are going to be able to trust her, and I'm going to do everything I can to see that she gets elected our next U.S. Senator. As a family, we're deeply committed to public service. I mean, my grandfather was a World War II veteran. My husband served in Bosnia, and also he served in the Iraq War. He's a lieutenant colonel in the Air National Guard. And so we have a deep commitment to public service in this family. I think that that experience of having a husband at war in harm's way, flying combat missions, will always stay with her. And I think that it brings a new perspective, even after I'm home, because of my concern for some of the veterans issues that are now our country will face. You know, I think the best advice comes right here in New Hampshire from people in New Hampshire and I've been campaigning up and down our state. And I was at the Lancaster Fair, and I met a farmer, and he gave me a bottle of New Hampshire water. And I took it from him, and he said, Kelly, when you go to Washington, I don't want you drinking any of that Washington water. Because you know, everyone who drinks that water loses their common sense and forgets where they came from. And I thought that was wonderful advice and I'll never lose my common sense or forget where I came from here in New Hampshire. Our two children, Kate and Jake, uh, they're a big motivation for me. You know, we've always made a promise in this country that would leave our, our country better for the next generation, give them the same opportunities that we've had, and I don't think we're living up to that promise. In my eyes, um, she'll always be Kelly Ayotte, the person that's willing to roll up her sleeves and, and focus and read 1,500 pages of material 
talk to the people you need to talk to, and then vote accordingly. And she will vote the way the people in New Hampshire need her to vote. I support Kelly Ayart with my entire soul and heart and most enthusiasm I've ever had for candidates. I believe Kelly Ayart is the future of New Hampshire. She brings a breath of fresh air that we badly need. I'm Kelly Ayart, candidate for U.S. Senate, and I approve this message.